What's up college football fans, welcome to another QB Spotlight video. In this video, we're going to talk about Tennessee quarterback Hendon Hooker and look at about five throws in the game uh, and their win against Pittsburgh. Uh, five crucial throws, not all big time deep ball throws, but crucial throws in the game. So some, some really big third down conversions and fourth down conversions uh, that left the offense on the field, right? So we're going to look at five throws, our favorite throws of the game, and then we'll kind of wrap this thing up. But before we dive into the video, I just want to encourage all to consider subscribing to the channel if you like any quarterback content. We spent a lot of time in the SEC, uh, but as long as it's related to the quarterback position, it's all fair, fair game here. So before we look at this video or before we dive into the actual clips of Hooker uh, against Pittsburgh, let's look at his stats real quick. He was 27 of 43, 42, excuse me, 325 yards in the air and two touchdowns. And Tennessee had most of their points come at the end of the first quarter and throughout the second quarter, right? Most of the second half, they were kind of held in check. Uh, they, did, they did score that field goal. But still, let's look at these five throws from Hendon Hooker that were big reasons why Tennessee was able to win this game. All right, so here's the third and three conversion right after Tennessee had that big interception uh, in the end zone to prevent Pitt from going up 17-0. Third and three, need to convert here. Again, ten Tennessee had struggled up to this point in the first quarter. Just going to see an out route, right? So he, he, he had a probably had an option to do either an out route or a corner route, depending on what the safety was doing. The safety was up top, and so the receiver here, boom, just did an out route, and Hooker flattened him out here, right? So good read here. He also had an underneath route here. Hooker was reading, but you'll see the safety is up top, and so the receiver flattens out to an out route. If the safety was up close or, you know, uh, the, wasn't as uh, up, up top as he is right now, then that's probably a corner route here. So let's go ahead and check this out here, and you'll see you'll see hook, Hooker reading right there. Boom, safety up top. We got underneath stuff right here. So the underneath keeps the corner here, and then he has a hole right here that Hooker is able to, able to put it into right before the safety. So a big time conversion there in a third and three at this point in the game, uh, but a good read right there for the uh, reading, the, reading that safety and flatten out his receiver. All right, so here we got a third and five, 17-7 uh, right now, uh, beginning of the second quarter or a few minutes in the second quarter. And this is the drive after Pitt just scored to uh, get up by 10 again. So again, not a huge sexy type throw, but I think a big time throw at this point in the game. This is a back shoulder type throw uh, to the receiver on the top of the screen here. We're going to see we've got up top coverage. we press man here. So the receiver just runs a little comeback here, and Hooker does a good job throwing him to the sideline, right? Throwing him where the ball, where their space is. Balk is coming out now. Boom. You'll see not much space there, right? But Hooker does a good job with ball placement to allow the receiver to come back to where there is space. Boom. Makes a good catch. I know it doesn't seem like much. What, seven, eight yard gain there? Uh, but that was a third and five to keep the drive going, which Tennessee was able to score eventually. All right, next we got Hooker's touchdown to McCoy down here, which I know Tennessee fans love seeing him get involved yesterday. Man-on-man -man coverage, yeah, it was controversial. I get it, but, you know, he was pushed out. But regardless, I like the decision of Hooker when you have one-on-one -on -one matchup right here. Just take a shot deep, which is exactly what he did. He had some several good balls, uh, several deep balls last uh, yesterday, excuse me, that looked good. Good job in the pocket. Nothing really crazy to break down here. Just a good touchdown at this point in the game to get them back within three. And like I said, Hooker had several good deep balls here, but good to get McCoy involved in the action. All right, here's another accurate deep ball downfield, um, similar to the McCoy ball that we just saw, but you know they're a little more backed up, right? So here's the uh, doubles to the top of the screen. You know Tennessee does that stack. Uh, they, they stack the receivers on top outside the numbers. And so we'll see. The receiver does a good job just beating his DB, and boom, Hooker hits him in stride here, and they score on the next play or the next play after. One of the two, I can't remember. Good deep ball, hits him in stride, boom, then gets tackled there. Just another good deep ball, what, five minutes before half uh, that led them to another touchdown. All right, so here's probably my favorite throw of the game. It's probably the, the, the more underrated throw. It's a fourth and six, 24-20 right now. It's about 10 minutes left in the game. Tennessee's up. Uh, it's going to be another comeback route to the bottom, the receiver at the bottom of the screen. Long throw, right, from the left hash over here. But this completion kept the drive alive, uh, allowed them to eventually get a field goal. I think they, I think their field goal is actually further than, the, than, than, than what, where they were right here. But regardless, they converted in fourth and six. Long throw from Hooker, and they were able to get a field goal to go up 27-20. Boom, left side of the hash. From the 40, that's a long throw that he made look fairly easy, right? Uh, tight space, good catch, receiver coming back converting on fourth and six again eventually get a field goal uh, but one of my favorite throws of the game 
So again, just five completions from Hooker. We just watched of the 27 completions. He also had some some good uh, good plays on the run, and we didn't show the game winning touchdown in overtime, right? But I think these were kind of five crucial throws. Some were were evident, right? Like the big touchdown to McCoy, uh, but others are kind of under the radar, right? Like that fourth down conversion, even the third down and conversion early in the game after they just got that turnover uh, that led to an eventual score. So some. Big time throws from Hooker. Again, just wanted to highlight our five uh, favorite throws. And we'll do this on a weekly basis. We'll pick, you know, three or four quarterbacks and just kind of showcase our favorite four, five, six throws uh, of the game. But anyways, Tennessee fans or just football fans in general, uh, I want to hear from you. What do you think about Hooker's performance? Uh, let us know in the comments below. We'll see you next time on the next quarterback-related video.